Hey, Kane Train 3 here with another edition of Retro Revisited for the NES Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. This is one I've been wanting to do the most. We're going to start with Ninja Gaiden 1, go up until our, a game over, and then probably go through Bloody Malice and end at stage 6 since I have no desire to try to remember how to get through the Bridge of Hell and the mess that is stage 6 to the final 3 bosses. Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3 will be the same format. Go up until game over, see how far I get based on muscle memory and what I can remember, and then keep going till we hit a wall. Ninja Gaiden 3 will probably go keep going through until a game over considering there's limited continues and We'll see what happens. Ninja Gaiden 1 I have the most experience with, but I still have my card from when I was a kid, and I remember the, and I think I remember this game kind of well. I'll probably screw up here and there. 2 I have a little more experience with since I rented it a lot as a kid, especially when the summer I got the Ninja Gaiden 2 guide from Nintendo Power. 3 I don't have as much experience with since I didn't enjoy it as much as when I was a kid kid and a teen, mostly because of the increased difficulty and the limited continues. But I'm going to give this a shot. And possibly at some point I'll play the the Ninja Gaiden 3 restored ha restored hack which restores the diff the easier difficulty from the Japanese edition, the unlimited continues, and the password. So, let's give this a shot. Want to thank everybody for joining for joining me tonight, and we're gonna have a time. This is still one of my favorite Ninja Gaiden tracks. Okay, I remember how to do a jump slash without using the the jump slash technique. That's good. Whee! No idea why I just did there. What was cool? Climb up the wall like a ninja. Because that's what we do. Oh, are you? You're a jerk. I mean, he didn't deserve that, though. But yeah, we're going to go through the cinema scenes for this. Because I honestly forgot how good a lot of them were. Plus, I need to honestly remember to do screenshots for the upcoming blog review of these three. Oh, and uh, my blog review is going to be set up the same way 
I did for the Super Star Wars trilogy, reviewing all three games since all of them are practically the same graphic, graphic and sound-wise, more or less. What's in here? Hello there. So pretty much I'm thinking, I'm hoping honestly to get up to 5-2 five, five again like this. In this, with this run. Only thing that that's going to probably hold me back will be batting eagles, the third boss, possibly the fourth boss too. So let's just see what happens. Wait for that dude to uh, stop flying about. Oh, I forgot how good the... Ooh, made it. I forgot how good the Windmill Throwing Star was. Of course, wait for that knife to go by, because knowing me, I'll end up getting hit by a random one. Oh yeah, I forgot about the crazy respawn rates on some of these enemies. Yikes. Why do those guys look like football players? I mean, seriously. I still really love the music in these games. Okay. Where have you? That. And once again, workers are welcome. And everything else. Alright, this image. Lookers all welcome. Feel free to pop in, say hi in chat. Ask me any questions. I don't bite. Oh poop. Okay, you know what? That's okay. It's going to probably end up sc screwing up this run later, but that's fine. I was honestly thinking... Of... To be honest, I was thinking of taking a loss anyway, since I accidentally lost this. Oh, come on! Now everything's going to help. That's the one we didn't watch. Okay, now we're cooking. Whew. 
Oh, that was kind of cool. Cute little backwards jump there. Alright, losing two lives here is probably really going to screw this run. Especially once I hit the third boss, because I've never been too good at knocking him out fast. Even though I kind of know how to knock him out fast with the diagonal flames thanks to watching a bunch of speedrunners. I still love all the music in this game. Dot dot dot. Also playing this again, I'm starting to see where a lot of the level inspiration was from the Deadpool Ninja Gaiden hack. Especially fighting the bosses, how a number, how all of the bosses in the Deadpool hack are based off of the bosses from this game. Except for a special few that are based off bosses from Ninja Gaiden 2 and possibly 3. And other surprises. Shinobi, in all caps. Because why not? It's really a shame also the Ninja Gaiden Trilogy part for Super NES was, was a bomb. No upgraded graphics or music. The music was really trangy. And no like save or password functions. So much wasted potential. Oh no! What the? After him, Ryu! Good music time! Do 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 And this is probably going to be the stall where, where everything goes to hell because I hate eagles. Honestly, outside of my screw-ups in the last level, I'm surprised I'm doing so good still. Ow. 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 I do love when muscle memory starts kicking in, you know? Double shot there. Okay, that was a mistake. I do love when muscle memory starts kicking in at times like this, you know? Ah, oh, damn it! 
All right, well, I'm screwed. Ooh! Can't believe I remember how to do that. Okay, this actually works. Oh, I never realized I could actually do that. Who got him? Yeah. Okay, I think I learned a new strategy by accident. Neato. And now back to our story. I love the cinema scenes and the way the story progresses in this. Even more so with two, with two and three. So again, just let me know how the music can sound all uh, sound or and how my voice sounds over the um music over the game itself if anything after this one I may I may keep going at least until bloody mouth and then switch over to Ninja Gaining 2 from there because I'm not going through the hell of stage 6 tonight. Oh, here's one of the longer scenes. Dot, dot, dot.
Honestly, I forgot how long this cinema scene is. Not to mention what an info dump it is. Oh! Oh, I think this is the level where we get the really, really cool cinema scene of the Jacko's Castle. Wow. Just wow. Okay, well, for one. We're going to keep going. That was a mistake. Good lord, I... Good lord, I forgot about... A... Honestly, I forgot about a lot of things in this game. Except for my my hatred of eagles, of course. Alright, so I guess we... I had a, I had a feeling eagles and bats were going to be the death of me, but not this. But not this early. Jeez. Come on. Let's see if I can actually keep this weapon. Ooh! That was snazzy. I don't know how I managed to not get hit there. I knew that was gonna happen. Hey there, Chris474. How's it going tonight? What have you been playing recently? Thanks for joining me in the my Ninja Gaiden edition of Retro Revisited. I forgot how how awesome this cinema scene was. Not to mention I really had hope to not, not completely F up until around now. Okay. Been playing Chrono Trigger this past week. Will you add in Chrono Trigger? Okay, well, I'm probably screwed with fighting the next boss. Just got maggots. Awesome. You're in for... Awesome. You're definitely in for, for a good time now that you've got maggots. I don't think there's another spin slash around here, is there? Well, on the plus side, at least I remember how to... Oh, nice. At least I remember how to, uh... Yes! How to, uh... Have a good... Let's just say, have a good time. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, you know what? Screw this. Into the pit I go.
Okay, let's try this again. I mean, at least on the plus side, getting over that bridge with the eagles and the with the eagles and and I did it again. As I was saying, at least getting over that bridge with the eagles and ninjas, I remember what I used to do all the time with the windmill throne star. So I guess that's something, isn't it? Yes? No? I think I will have to start playing this again on my own and start getting back into practice. I'm sure as hell I'm not going to speedrun this. Oh, god damn it. Run! Why did I just jump? Oh wow, yeah, this is fun. I am definitely clearly out of practice. This is really starting to remind me of my my first run in the Deadpool hack, Ninja Gaining hack. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, Chris, you're gonna have a good time with with Magus. He's awesome. Chrono Trigger, one of my favorite games. Yeah, Chrono Trigger and FF and FF6 are my top two, um, are, are my top two Super NES RPGs. You know, everything was going good. Oh, well, sort of. Honestly, though, I think if I remember correctly, I usually always, always would, uh, would take a lot of damage going, going, ooh, going over this bridge anyway. Oh yeah. Where's that potion? Right there. Alright, now I gotta keep that with me. No, I don't want that this time. Because I think I can use the spin slash on the next boss. If I remember correctly, the next boss are the demon dogs. I can get through here. Get past these Mike Tyson wannabes. Look at this guy. Thinks he's 
think he's slick. Okay. That's a mistake. Oh, these guys. This is gonna probably suck. Come on. No. Okay, come on. Disappear. that guy. I think there is a potion around here. And that wasn't it. I have no idea what the hell I just did there. Okay. Well, I guess we're back to the windmill store. I mean, you know, I really love like to take out the demon dogs with the with the jump slash for once. Ow. I think there is a safe spot around here. I think I'm in it. This is particularly why I hate this boss. We would really like to get through this before I lose another life. Okay, so much for that. Don't let you heck. Okay. That probably wasn't worth taking the damage. Um, that was Scrooge. At the rate I'm going, I'm going to probably need this. Okay, that was cool. I hate this area. Okay, 
Okay, that was unneeded. Okay, can't do that. Well, this is really getting special tonight. Whoops. Come on. Oh, yeah, I'll most certainly take that. Come on, doggy. Ow. Ew, doggy. Come on. You know, fighting the counterpart of these in the Deadpool and the ninja getting Deadpool hack was even more hell hellish. Got him. Oh, it's the Jacko. Good grief, how many screenshots have I taken so far? Have a nice day. That's not creepy at all. Okay, here's probably where everything goes to hell. Again. Also, just for the record, that weird cliff jump coming up in 5-2, I'm all for that. Just for the record. If anybody knows exactly how to do that whole flip over it and flip over it thing, let me know please. Once I get over there. If I get over there.
Oh, this guy. I always hated that guy. Okay, actually, I don't want that, I don't think. And honestly, since I'm on my last life here... I think I'd like to at least get through this level. Then lose a life. Which probably won't be happening. Neat. Thank you. I really hate how uh, you can't just automatically call up a wall like Spider Man or and like you can in the later games. Ah, uh, my least favorite area, one of my least favorite areas, besides, besides stage 6, of course. But still, but, st but still the best music. Okay. Actually, that's okay. I kind of want you to lose a life. Considering we're getting close to the end of where I want want you for this run. Honestly, I'm actually surprised how well I've done in a few cases, considering I haven't played this in so long. Really? Really? You know, I'm most surprised they didn't get hit by one of those bullets. Um, okay, here's where everything's going to go to hell, probably. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, okay, that's how I do that. Oh, cool, okay. I did not know that. Awesome source. Okay, I just learned something new here. E. Bad eagle. Ooh, that's some ominous music. Alright, well, I made it this far. I guess I gotta try to remember how how knock off Bloody Mouth now. Wonderful. Game it, Mike Tyson! 
dumb dog. Grr. Oh, look at this. What? Okay, well, that's gonna suck. Dead and fell down a pitch. Awesome. I'm a winner. I don't know how I managed, managed that one, but I will most certainly take it. Come from. I hate you. Okay, glitch that guy off. I'll personally take it. And I forgot about that bat. Whoopsie. Didn't forget about the bat, but I forgot, but I forgot about the tiger. Game is nothing good. There. Oh, come on. Dang it. If I only had one more. Right, if I only had one more second, I could have made it through that. Remember what I said about eagles and bats being my downfall? Well, here's some great, great examples. Get rid of you. Like, seriously, I did hit the jump button there. Contrary to popular belief. Okay, I didn't hit it there. I officially remember why I hate this area now. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty much had to there. I was stuck. Damn it. Pretty much with Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3, after we finish this, we're not going to go as far into the game as we are here with Ninja Gaiden 1. I just want to see if I can make my way up over to Bloody Malice in one piece. Which probably won't happen. After all these years. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, that was sucky sucky. One of these respawning b bats. My favorite. Oh boy, it's everything. Everybody wants to kill me. Eagles and bats and ninjas, oh my. Pretty much I'm at the point where I'm either out of practice or I forgot how much this area sucks or a little bit of both. I'm thinking it's a little bit of both. Oh, I have no idea how I man managed that one, but I will most certainly take it. Really? I'd like to at least get you bloody mouths this this go around. Ugh, damn it. Wasted too much time. Again. This guy's going to suck. Look at this guy. Okay, we, well, we somehow managed to make it. Going up. Um, let's see what's over here. Okay. That's a really creepy mask. And you're a very creepy man. idea how I managed to get past that before, but I will most certainly take it. Woohoo! Yes!
Okay, that was worth it. And did I get, get re-healed before I fought him? I never really noticed that. That's kind of cool. And I'm definitely playing Ninja Gaiden 1 a lot longer than I expected. But that's okay. Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3, I won't go as far. 3 especially considering the, um, lim the limited continues. Alright, we got two lives left. Let's see how I do on the bridge from hell. I mean, might as well at this point. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Okay, so let's see, in <clears throat> actuality with this run, I got up to 4-1, which isn't bad. I probably really would have gone at least up to the Demon Dogs or at least the start of Stage 5 if I didn't take those, uh, if I didn't lose those lives back in Stage 2 like a booby head. And we managed to limp our way past the demon dogs and knocked off Bloody Mouth in the first try. And I learned how to do that. And I learned how to get over that weird cliff jump going up and over it. Even if I have to take some damage from Eagle from an Eagle. So this was pretty good. I definitely give Ninja Gating a four out of five. Alright, so I'm gonna load up Ninja Gaiden 2, put my put the B right back screen up and take a quick break to stretch. Considering this one took Ninja Gaiden 1 took me took longer than I originally expected. And when I get back we'll enjoy the awesome opening for Ninja Gaiden 2 and go we'll fall into a pit. Alright, what's the...
Alright, let's reset this, and this is Ninja Gaiden 2. So, like I said earlier, I don't have that as much experience with this one as I do one, but I did rent this a lot one summer after I picked up, after I got the, nin the Ninja Gaiden 2 guy from Nintendo Power, which was pretty damn awesome. Awesome had some cool um, comic scenes in it, from the, of the of the of all the cinema scenes. So let's enjoy the opening. And we'll see how far we get on our first run. This music is so good. Also, what's cool, if you look on YouTube, there's a few videos where somebody actually put, put voices to this whole, to this entire opening. Which is even more badass. Also, if I remember correctly, Ninja Gaiden 2 takes place like a year after, okay, a year after the events of the first one. Alright, so, let's begin. Alright, we actually start with stuff. Cool. Oh, neat. I can actually go up and down things. Okay. Well, you definitely moves a lot faster. Well, you definitely moves a lot faster in this one. Alright, and I got a limit to my ninja energy now. I definitely like Ryu's look when he does kind of like the, that backwards jump with his arms in the air like that. Um, ooh! Oh yeah, this is the one with the ninja clones! Okay. Okay, and now there's two of them. At least right you can pull up and down, down everything easier. I don't have to do like weird, weird jumps just to get, just to get up of cliffs and everything anymore. I think ryu has been learning from Spider-Man. Um, oh yeah, okay. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? If I remember right from the Death Roll hack, this is the attack pattern from Red Hulk. Again, I want to thank everybody for joining me, lurking and chatting in, and chatting in the chat box. We're playing Ninja Gaiden 2 for my Retro Revisited series. Me revisiting various games I haven't played in like between 10 and 20 years. To see if muscle memory kicks in and what I can remember. Oh, at least Ryu didn't get shot this time. He was a happy fellow. Liking the music in this one all over again. Graphics look about the same, but a lot more colorful and detailed. Oh, the train level, I remember this. Liking the music. Oh, eagles, of course. No, but also I kind of like how how your um, status bar at the top kind of flashes all these funky little pastel colors, but when you get hit, they turn like normal primary colors. That's kind of neat. Ow. Um. No, but yeah, let me get that. I'm probably going to need that in the next level. Most certainly don't want that. Oh, this is one of those... Oh, this... Oh, okay. This is the snow level. I hated this level as a kid. But I love the music here. ninja stuff now. I lost my clothes. And there's the snow again. Alright, this, this might suck. Okay, that worked. 
That actually wasn't worth it. Can I... Thank you. That one up was. Wahaha. Whoops. You know, I kind of had a feeling my initial one run would end somewhere here in stage two. If I can get back to that one up, I should be in good shape. More or less. I really did hit the jump button there. Not sure I probably believe. Two, two. This definitely shows I'm out of practice. No, but let's we'll, I think I'll just keep going, finish off this level at least, or try to anyway, at the rate I'm going. Honestly, I hated this level as a kid, too. back over here. I know that one up is up ahead. Hmm. 
I get the other ninja claw? get through this part. Oh, okay. I died right after I got a healing potion. Of course. Just my luck, too. So the snow goes straight, then left, straight, and then right. And probably getting that was a mistake. I don't want to drop down yet with the snow going to the right and that dude over there. We're not winning this this round. Yep. Yeah, I always had a tough time with this boss. Let's... Okay, let's not. <sighs> it would be nice if I could get on the damn ladder. Gee, this is really becoming a rip roaring good time, isn't it? Alright, honestly, if I can get one of my ninja clones up, if we make it back up to. Whew, we make it back up to Spider Dude, and I can get one of my ninja clones up there, 
on his near his ledge, I should be good. Maybe. I really suck at this level, don't I? Honestly, I don't think I was very good at this level as a kid either. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to need this to have one up now. Have one up now. That was really cheap. I take the damage and then I get and then I die. I take the I mean I take the damage and then I get the thingy. Wonderful. Like we gotta spend some time over here till the wind goes in the right direction and that dude hey Ruglo I hate eagles all right let's see if I can be spider guy like this good amount of damage to him already. Oh, sweet. Good. Excellent. Perfect. Smash to get my clone up there. Ah. Boom. Hey, Ruffalo, how's it going tonight? Just revisiting Ninja Gating 2 now. We finished. We went through Ninja Gating 1 and got through Bloody Malice at least. My initial run of this got up to stage 2 2 and first time beating this guy in this run. What, what have you been playing tonight? Play a bit of Ultimate Doom from God. Ooh! 
Now that's some old school fun right there. Oh, that's a cool cinema scene. Although I do have Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3 on the Wii Shop. I, I have no idea why the chat didn't allow that initially. Silly chat. Alright, let's see how we do here. This happened before. Yeah, silly chat. Oh. Okay, did not want that. Alright, I forgot how cool this level is. Oh, when did I get those? I'll most certainly take it. Oh yes, hot jams. Hey, thanks for the raid, Gunstar. Did you find? Did you finish uh, NFL? Whatever the hell you were playing. Welcome, Raiders. Just revisiting Ninja Gaiden 2 for my retro revisited. Ooh, my retro revisited series. How do I get up there? Um, okay. Then I just kill you. Okay, good. Redeem shout out, blame Gunstar. Alright, give me one second. Gunstar Heroes is awesome, one of my streaming inspirations. I did permit the term NHD. Okay, whatever. Gunstar Heroes is awesome. He got to the playoffs. We, we were very close. Wanted to give everyone something far better and more exciting and hype. That's awesome, dude. I'm actually thinking of doing Sunday Tec Tecmo Super Bowl Sundays starting this, week starting this weekend, too. And I got to hydrate, but I'll wait till I game over again. Because my drink's actually in the other room. Again. Thanks for the raid, man. I really do appreciate it. So, this is the Ninja Gaiden edition of my Retro Revisited series. Where I revisited it, revisiting games I haven't played in years. We got through Ninja Gaiden 1. My initial run, I got up to 4-1. Thanks to a few goof-ups. And I limped my way through... Up to 6 1 and managed to beat Bloody Malice on the first try. And I finally learned how to go up and over that weird cliff jump in 5 2. So I take that as an accomplishment. <clears throat> Ninja Gating 2 initial run, I got up to 2 2 because of that snowy mountain. And I'm just gonna keep running, at least maybe try beat stage 3. And then we're going to go to get up to Ninja Gaiden 3. I'm actually remembering how much I really enjoyed Joy of the Summer. I played this a lot. Thanks to having the Ninja... Why did, why did I get that again? Thanks to having the Ninja Gaiden 2 guy from Nintendo Power. Anybody remember that? I have a really cool comics based off the whoops off the cinema scenes also. Also, I know a couple of my emotes are my GG emote is really small. I don't know what the hell Twitch did to it. I gotta stop getting that.
So maybe later later in the week, maybe I'll resubmit. I'll honestly resubmit them, or find somebody to help me resize them, so Trish doesn't f them up again. All right, how do I get down to there? Okay, I see now. Okay, that was probably a mistake. Ooh, I managed to jump up there. Okay. This is gonna suck, suck, suck. Sucky suck, 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 suck. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Consi also, considering Ninja Gaiden 3 also has the increased difficulty and the fact that you have limited continues and that will only go through um, one run with run run with we'll see how far I get on one set on uh, one set of lives and then okay I see what you do here now we'll see how we do on our first set of lives there and then keep going till we hit 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 um the game over okay now I see Oh, okay. Ah. I forgot what hell this level can be. Knock me right up on that. I'll mercifully take that. And then fall into the pit like Hungry Gariah. Okay. Life is awesome. Because then it's like, thank you. I usually don't sneeze on stream. Or at least I try not to. Okay, I forgot that was a platform. Hey, I said hi. Did I just get raided again? Ninja Gaiden 2, am I right? Yeah, Ninja Gaiden 2. Hey, I said hi. Just playing Ninja Gaiden 2. Revisiting this for the first time after between 10 and 20 years. Initial run got up to 2-2 and going to see if I can at least beat stage 3. Which is not looking good right now. Also trying to grab screenshots as I go along. Damn it. Also trying to grab screenshots as I go along for my blog review. And with my next couple of days, with being off the next couple of days, I'm going to catch up on on things with my blog, in, including getting a review of the Ninja Gaiden Trilogy up, and Mega Man 2, and after I do a stream hopefully tomorrow afternoon for a comparison of the, <coughs> the translations of Tears of Fantasia for Super NES and PlayStation, get that done as well. And then next week I'll be doing Mega Man 3 for my revisiting Mega Man series and take a quick break for that until October. I'll catch up with chat once I get on a platform that's not an inch high. Ow. Thank you, Potion!
But yeah, Ninja Gaiden 1, I managed to get up to... Ooh! Ninja Gaiden 1, I managed to get up to, um, 6-1, and then I stopped there, because I wasn't... I didn't feel like going through the entire bridge of hell, and I hate the stage 6. I should probably pause this while I'm talking. I was originally hoping my initial run would have taken me to at least 5-2, but I took a few accidental deaths in stage 2, and, and then I took a battle and eagle to the face in 4-1. Splat. Good start. Thanks for lurking. Hope you enjoyed the intense running around the field action course. So for Tech Mobile, running a full season and just playing random games. I'm going to run a full season. I haven't entirely decided yet if I'm going to do the OG 91 roster or one of the <clears throat> 2020 roster hacks. And I'm planning on playing it with my 49ers. The last time I played Tecmo Super Bowl was back on Super Bowl Sunday for a um, restaurant we visited. Where I played it, played as the 49ers uh, in the on the bleh, in the OG 91 roster and the 2020 roster hack that was out at the time, and managed to beat the Chiefs both times. Go me! All right. Oh, hello. Well, we have a lot of little goons based off of the, um, what the hell were they called in Ninja Gaiden 1? The Malice 4? I can't remember now. I did not want that. Okay, you know what? I can take the death here. I don't mind. I really like the music here. I'll probably keep going on this on my own later just for some more screenshots. At least get up to where, um, that underground area where you fight Ashtar. Okay, I'll take that. So anyone remember the Ninja- the Nintendo Power guide for this that had the comics based off the over the cinema scenes. I wish I still had that. I think I still have what's left of my guide for Final Fantasy 1, mostly because there's a few things in it that the Brady guides for for the um, PlayStation ports don't cover. I should You know what I should You know what? Maybe I'll look on eBay later or tomorrow for the Ninja Gaiden 2 guide. I kind of want that again now. F it. Oh look, Eagles. My favorite. And knocking a pit by Jason. I have no idea what I just did there. I think I just pulled a Hungry Gryer again. Okay, so what, the spider just hits me a few times and then suicides? That works. And Death by Eagle, which seems to be the name of this whole night. get that. I wish this guy would go the hell away and stop hitting me. Rest in peace. Thanks, Ruglo. I appreciate that. Oh, also, I updated my bio and my links a bit on my... on my... why do I keep getting that? On my Twitch bio. Thanks, Ruglo. Thanks for rubbing it in. I appreciate that. 
Give me some sword too while you're at it. Why do I keep doing that? You know now I now I remember how shiny how chalk feels. Thanks guys. Much appreciated. At least that guy fell in the pit and didn't, didn't follow me. <sighs> These games are brutal. Yeah, especially because especially when you haven't played them in so long. See, the funny thing is, Ninja Gaiden One I know pretty well. Since I still have it from when I was a kid, it's just I'm out of practice with a lot of the memorization. Two and three I don't have as much experience with, mostly because I never actually owned them. I most I mainly rented them. Two more so than three. You might even say sadistic. No, sadistic would be Adventures of Bayou Billy. That game is just the American the American port of that is is just evil. Actually, you know what? I probably should have kept the fi the fireballs for this area. up there. Probably have no chance at this point with the boss. Or I could just fall into a pit again. Pits are fun. This game is the pits, man. No, that would probably be Ninja Gaiden 3, my friend. Ow. Actually, the nice thing is after a game over, if you get an increase in your in your ninjutsu, you keep it. Okay, we don't want that this time. Alright, I'm going to keep the fireball for this area. Okay, got our health back. I didn't even realize there was a potion over there. All 
I, I, I'm not stupid enough to go after that where that, that dude is again. Well, at least not in this game anyway. Oh, what the hell? Look at this guy. Oh look, skeletons too. This just keeps getting better. I'll most only take that potion though. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, you're the boss. had him too. What the hell? I jumped to the wall. I hate you. I think my game hat hates me tonight. GD, yeah, G yeah, poop, GG. Thanks. <laughs> hey, but you know what? I made it up to the. I made it up to the boss. I'll. I'll take that as a GG at this point. And I did it again. And I did that again. Okay, there is Mr. Potion. D bag the D bag. Thanks. Ah. Grr. I don't even know what's going on here anymore tonight. What just happened? You know what's funny though? I re it wasn't until maybe some years ago that I managed that I did manage to get up to the final three in Ninja Gaiden One, and honestly, the the farthest I've gone in in fighting the final three enemies in One is the first guy. Ninja Gaiden Two. Thanks to that Nintendo Power Guide, I spent an a, a afternoon or evening one summer getting up to... Come on. Getting up to uh, the final three. Alright, that was dumb. Rolling devs, that's what happened. Pretty much. You know, on the plus side, at least the Eagles only gave me one damage instead of th instead of three. Okay, remember, Chris. I mean, remember, Kane. Don't get that. It's 
stupid, Jason. Okay. Alright, this is going to be our last try, because it's starting to get late, and I want to at least get to Ninja Gaiden 3. Oh, come on, I didn't even want to hit that that time. Alright, at least now we know where um potions are. Really? Oh, that was the ninja clone right there, okay. This game is really trolling me tonight. Really? Really? Okay. Well, that's it for Ninja Gaiden 2, that's for sure. On the plus side, I am going to do that so I can continue on on my own later. I'm going to get Ninja Gaiden 3 set up and put my Be Right Back screen up and take another quick break and stretch my fingers out and rehydrate. want to thank everybody so far for lurking and chatting and sorting me. And we'll be right back with Ninja Gaiden 3, which is probably going to be even more hell than this was. On the plus side, I'm going to give this one a 4, a four out of 5 review, 4 out of 5 stars like Ninja Gaiden 1. And let's get a 3 set up. By my
Ooh, good timing for coming back, right at the start of the opening. So this is Ninja Gaiden 3, the last one of the NES trilogy. And this one I actually have even less experience with than 2 because I haven't played it that much. Thanks to a lot of the extreme difficulty with this, considering this, considering when Ninja Gaiden 3 was brought over to the states, it was made harder, given limited continues, and the password system was removed. Thankfully, there's also a hack out called Ninja Gaiden 3 Restored, which which restores the original di difficulty. Which restores the original difficulty, the pa the password system, and restores the unlimited continues that were in the previous two games. I may actually play that later later in the week on stream if anyone wants to see it. Will I do a review of it? Possibly. So this one we're going. I think it's two or three continues. So we're going to run this one through through the final game over. And you know what's interesting too? According, to, I think according to <clears throat> the Ninja Gaiden Wiki, this game actually takes place during, before Ninja Gaiden 2 happens. So this, so this game takes place, so this game takes place in the year before Ashtar makes his move a year after the first game. No, oh, I like that screenshot better. So, let's give this a shot. And you want to hear something interesting? Apparently, there was a small earthquake over here in Jersey and New York about 2 o'clock, and I didn't feel a thing. Probably because I was too busy falling into pits in Ninja Gaiden 2. Okay. Graphics are nice. Ryu still moves pretty fast. Like the music. Oh, okay. And I can actually see what's in the pods now. 2 p.m. or a.m. A.m. Before before I stepped away from my computer, I popped onto I popped onto Twitter for a moment, and it, and it's a trending topic. Okay, I don't have the Ninja clones, but I have a sword extender. That's cool. Good grief! I took that much damage already. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I really like this music here. Hey there, King of Apoc. I saw you were following me on... on I saw that you started following me on Twitter. I followed you back. How the 
hell did I miss that wall? Alright, I... you know what? I'm going to stick with the fireballs. Alright, that's the thing that goes down. Oh, good week. A great game, New Jersey. I didn't feel anything. Yeah, neither did I. I don't even know how strong it was, honestly. Okay, well, I died at the first boss. This is going... This is going great so far. Oh, that's kind of neat. Honestly, if I remember correctly, the next stage is the one with the stupid, um, quicksand. Alright, this isn't bad so far. Say for taking so much Say for taking more damage than I expected, especially, especially on a first level. Alright, let's whack this guy. The hell did I just hit? Alright, sorry about that. I, I ended up hitting the wrong stupid button for a screenshot. Like a f boop. Alright, let's take this guy out. Boom! Oh, yeah. Yay, yeah, it's story time! Oh, is this guy gonna shoot me in the back, too? Like everybody else does? I always like the name of that. The Castle Rock Fortress. the level with the quicksand. Great. I like this music. Quick little gifted uh, sub to Gunstar. Thanks for the gift sub, Ruxlo. Enjoy your enjoy your weird emotes, Gunstar. Enjoy your Krillin and under and under, and way too small Luigi GG emote. Wow, I just took a lot of damage from that quicksand. I'm... This music here is really good. Okay. Yeah, like I said, guys, if I can get find someone to try help me resize the emotes better and resubmit them to Twitch again. I, I will maybe later in the week. I should probably ask 
I should probably ask Fi ask Phil later in the next time. Come on. Next time I see her on Twitter. Okay. And enjoy you and to Simon Ashto too. Oh. Enjoy your enjoy your emotes. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the gift subs, Ruxalo. Oh, I didn't even realize I had the windmill star. Come on, get me out of here. Alright, at least those little helicopters aren't as bad as eagles and bats. Nice! Got me in one shot. And it's a, now being attacked by a giant friggin' bee. That's great. Can I at least get through the end of this level? Oh, this music's cool. Why do I have a bad feeling about this level, though? Whoops. Oh, yeah, I forgot when you start out, you already have the windmill throwing star. I definitely need that sword extender. I really, I really miss the ninja clones in this game. This game had an Atari Lynx port, but I never played it. Probably choose more screen res there harder. Was this on the Atari Lynx, or was it a port of um, a different Ninja Gaiden? Oh, okay. Now we're going up through the lava. Great. I think I definitely need the fireballs here. I, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. So let's go this way. Can I do that? No. Wings had Ninja getting okayed. You know, I think I have, I think I have the, um, meme set for Ninja Gating Arcade. I should give that a try. Okay. That one up is a trap. Come on. I like the flashing power-ups. Yeah, I like the fact that you can see what's in or in all the um, power-up orbs in this one. Come on down, I'm gonna hit you. Probably been a year since I played this. I haven't played this in eight in I haven't played three in ages. Come on, die. So yeah, like I said earlier, if anybody wants wants to see me play the uh, restored hack of Ninja Gaiden 3 later in the week or at some point, let me know. Come on, blow up. Pretty much that one up you have to be really quick about. I 
I had it. You know, I think I had the game. I think I had the Game Gear Ninja Gaiden also. Oh, hello. Actually, this bo no, but this boss isn't bad. And watch him die and go into the ground. It's very short, not a long game. You know, I think I have the Game Gear Ninja Gaiden. I play the mas I play the Master System one when I figured out how to get the Fusion Emulator working. Hey, it's Foster. Thanks for the GGs. Like I like the I like the um, Master System Ninja Gaiden, but it's pretty janky. Plus, when plus the pushback when you get hit by by enemies is even worse than um, the Nest trilogy. Alright, so I think my initial run before first game over was 2-1. Yeah, 2-1. Oh, this is pretty. You know what's sad? I think I... Okay. You know what's sad? I, I've gotten up to stage 3 a lot easier in Ninja Gaiden 3 than I did in 2. That's kind of bad. Um, okay. Can I get- oh, okay, I can- I can get on top of that. Well, that was a waste of lives. And now I'm being attacked by skeleton fish. That's great. So I should probably take the up and down thing. I'm not even going to try that, seeing how I have no ninjutsu left. At least I know there's a one up there. Alright, now I'm going to save my ninjutsu here. That way I can get... Get that. Grief, I took three damage from that stupid fish. And I forgot to hit the jump button. Oh, okay, I got five continues. That's neat. Alright, so you know what? Screw it. Let's continue. Let's keep going through the five continues. I definitely need uh, one of those sword extender thingies at this point.
Yeah, that one up's kind of risky. Especially at the rate I've been going tonight. Bad fish. I don't remember this stage, but I remember the river water level. We U shop ports allow safe states, so that's good. Pretty sure you play the Deadpool hack, but I missed it. Yeah, I played the Deadpool. The first time I played the Deadpool hack was on my birthday, and I managed to <clears throat> to limp my way in normal slash hard mode up to five two. Then I then I decided to do a run on easy mode because I practiced a bit on my own <clears throat> and learned how to in it. Honestly, spam spam the bosses with. Deadpool's bottle rockets and managed to finish it. It was the Deadpool hack is really good and definitely and definitely worth playing either in an e easy mercy or normal hard mode. Oh, Ryu's uh thing is flapping in the wind. I ne I never noticed that. Yeah, he put, yeah, I even, yeah, I just, I had just learned of it maybe a few months ago, and I played, played it as a, as a, um, birthday stream. Okay, I got a feeling I'm going to need that. Dratch. Honestly, if I had at least one more sec- one more second on that, I probably could have gone through with- gone through with no damage. Okay, I'm definitely learning here. Good grief, the damage. Well, yeah, I have the, um, vi I have the video of me playing the of <sighs> damn it of me playing the Deadpool hack on my um on my YouTube I honest I'm not sure wait I'm back here I'm not sure if it's still in my vods here on Twitch or not Actually, I'm not sure if both of them are honest. Honestly, the original birthday stream and and finishing the game in in mer in easy mode. It's also interesting. I became friends with one of the devs of of the Deadpool hack on Twitter when I mentioned I was playing it on, on stream too. I also became fr I also became f friends with um one of the main devs. Ooh, Damn it. I also became friends with one of the main devs of the FF4 Ultima hack too, which is going to be which is going to be one of my upcoming RPG hack showcases once I once I put together how I want to 
how I want to do that stream. Plus I have to... Plus I have to, um... Plus I have to, uh, get together with... with, with the guy and get... Ooh, managed to miss that. And get a couple... and get a few safe states for the way I want to run... run that hack showcase. Yeah, only me. Yeah, only me. I will get hurt by a random bullet there. Alright, if I can get... Okay, or not. Great, they stole me off back here. around here. Ooh, made it. Okay. I swear Vice Project Doom uses the same game engine, it's so similar. Dying on 3-2-B, send you back to 3-2-A, tip all of them. You know, I actually, I finished Vice Project Doom, I think, earlier this year or late last year. Vice Project Doom was a lot of fun. Don't forget, and I died on a wall. Awesome. And and don't forget, don't forget, Ninja Gaming Three was made harder f for the U.S. release. I was going to say, hey, at least I haven't taken any damage yet. Okay, at least I'm learning my way around here. made it through that guy with the with the fire thing. Great. I mean on the plus side at least I'm learning I was trying to dodge that too. At least on the plus side I'm learning my way way through at least half of this game for when I play or if and when I play the restored hack of this. I know what you expect. Well, besides taking less damage. La 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 la.
You know, the other thing I am actually kind of liking about this is when you take damage, you don't get, you don't get, um, push, push back a distance. Okay, I think I have enough to use this again if it comes out. Okay, or maybe not. Well, looks like level 3 is going to be all uh, Waterloo for this. At this rate. Okay, I can't get back up there. Help that my somehow my hand is falling asleep. Give me one second. Yeah, see, I I pretty much just jumped right through that guy and took that and took damage, but I didn't get any um, pushback. And I don't know how I even died there. All right, but we're on our last continue. Okay. What even killed you there, the spiny thing? I think so. I didn't even know I could get hit by that while I was on the wall. Oh, come on! You know, on you know, honestly, first time playing first time playing this in years getting up to stage three isn't too bad honestly getting up to, getting up to state hitting a wall with stage three and ninja gaining two wasn't bad either and muscle memory taking taking over even with some glitchiness and stu and stupid bats and everything for ninja gaining one getting up to Oh, I can. What? Oh, I can get on the bottom of those. Cool. And eventually getting myself up to, up to um, bloody Malice in Ninja Gaining One. After all these years, not bad. And I'm on my last life already. That's nice save. Thank you. I have no idea what I'm even doing anymore tonight. <laughs>
but yeah, like I said, if you if anybody wants wants to see me run the um, Ninja Gaming 3 Restored hack hack later in the week or at some point, let me know. And we're back here again. Yay. damage there. Most people love Ninja Gaiden despite its force. I do love the I do love Ninja Gaiden despite its force. I love honestly I love the first one the most because I have the most experience with it and I still have my card from when I was a kid. That sucked. Oh, okay. And to, to be perfectly honest, I wish I had more experience with Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden 2. Let me just get into this so we don't have the intro looping back and forth and back and forth. So, Ninja Gaiden 3, even with its forts and higher difficulty, I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 also. So pretty much my review of this of this will be set up on my blog the same way I did the Super Star Wars trilogy, reviewing all three games out at once for graphics and sound challenge and play control and wherever there's any little differences between the three games I'll make mention of it. And yes, I'll definitely make mention of three's increased challenge, that's for sure. So, yeah, that was definitely a Ninja Gaiden sort of night. So, ho I'm hoping either tomorrow or Thursday, I'm going to do an afternoon stream of of a RPG hack showcase with, um, with the differences between the fan translations of Tales of Fantasia, Super NES from DJAP, and the Japanese... PlayStation from Fantasia Productions. I think that's the name of the group who did it. I can't remember. And either tomorrow night or Thursday night, I'm going to do a Super NES anime game um, theme night with 12 different games, 11 of them in a randomizer wheel of different Super NES games based off anime. Some fighting games, some RPGs. A couple brawlers, one str and one strategy RPG. You could probably guess which one that is. So I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. I definitely went a lot longer than I expected. So I'm on my phone right now, seeing who's actually on at 3 a.m. in the morning, New Jersey time. Um, and you know what? Since we, since we met, <clears throat> since we met, bleh, since we met, mentioned <clears throat> Tecmo Super Bowl earlier, I think we're going to raid Garrett CRW, who's playing probably, the, it looks like the newest hack for the 2020 roster for Tecmo Super Bowl. We're going to give him a quick shout out. He's pretty awesome. He actually finally, he just finished Final Fantasy IV, the Super Famicom edition, finally, after many, many tries of of trying to beat Xeomis, who honestly is never easy, is never easy, even in the, um, the U.S. edition, 
but I've actually learned how to fight him and exploit him a bit after playing Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy IV Ultima hack, and along with playing FF4 Free Enterprise. So we're going to raid Garrett and we're going to get ready for some football. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight, and I will see everybody soon, I hope. As for me, I'm going to find something to eat and go to bed. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks again. Also, and also thanks to Ruxlow for all the gift subs and along with sorting me. I probably deserved it in Ninja Gaiden 2 anyway. Catch you guys soon.